Hello, my name is Kate and this is my declutter video. Well, it's actually my second declutter video. So I did one last week and it felt really good. I was really like worried at the beginning, like, oh no, I don't want to lose things. But then I was quite tough, got rid of four big bags and took them to the charity shop and took some for ca uh, to cash for clothes as well. But I do have to do part two, which is why uh, you're watching this video. So I've still got to have a rifle through these clothes. There's still some to go. And I've got another wardrobe too, to have a little look through. Um, but I've got things at the top there and down below here that I need to go through um, because it's just taken up room. It's a bit of a mess and I need to do it. I've just been putting it off for ages. So that's what I have to do today. Declutter part two, sorting out my wardrobes and uh, sorting out this room. Before I show you what I'm going to be doing though, I've got to do mug of the day. So if you've not watched any of my videos before, hello and welcome to this. And if you have, then you know there's like your mug of the day and I gotta do it. So here it is. Um, I love this. I love this mug. That's my Norfolkness coming out. Um, it's This is a Kath Kidston mug and I got it in the sale. I can't remember. I think it was down to four or five pounds from nine or ten and it's got little kites on it which is just really cute isn't it and um today I've got what does it say on the bottom oh nine pounds I was right I think it was five quid actually so I uh, got this a couple of weeks ago and I've been saving it it's beautiful I love this shape as well so this is my mug of the day and inside mug of the day is um coffee of the day I'm gonna get started now I'm gonna get I'm gonna you know when you just is there and you're like Neh. and you know it's gonna get worse before it gets better so it's gonna make more mess before it gets neater but I can do it I can do it. What's the time? 11 o'clock. I've not put it off that late. Just about an hour or two. Right, so I'm going to get stuck in. Wish me luck. Just going to move the YouTube chair so I have uh, access to the wardrobe, which is always good when you're doing a declutter video. Come on. To me. To me. Uh, to me. To me. As I said last week, I did do a declutter. Some of these hangers have gone crazy. So I'll just sort those out and I'll go through these clothes again. There might be a few more I can... Um, I can get rid of and down here is such a mess so I did have like scarves and bags but there's some bags here I don't need like that one <laughs> I've had for six years that can go to the charity shop that's a, a nappy bag or baby bag yeah I've got to sort out all of this okay so down there needs a sort out oh the Greek wedding dress that looks a little bit there we go and uh, not my Greek wedding dress I'm going to a wedding and I'm wearing that dress um okay well that's the plan anyway and then up here is fairly tidy but god knows what's up there could be old pictures and stuff so they're gonna sort that out and then there is another area which I'll just show you look at the state of this so <laughs> I'm gonna tackle this as well so these are my areas so I can't find anything it's just all on top of each other so this is what I'm gonna do today and maybe if there's time I'll, I'll get in there but I might have to um I might have to leave that for another week. I'm just going to go through the wardrobe again just to see if there's anything else I can get rid of. Anything else that um, I don't really need or haven't worn and might not wear realistically. So the other day I got rid of loads but I'm going to I'm gonna go in again and see if there's anything else. I'm going to try a few on and see if they fit because um, there's some things that won't. So I'm going to do that as well because that's a good way of getting rid of things that you still like but they might not fit me. So I'll try a few on and just see see if they're all right or not. I think the hardest thing is to actually start because I've just been faffing around. I put a picture on Instagram of my mug and me smiling. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you're more than welcome. I'm at Kate McCabe, K-A-T-E-M-C-C-A-B-E-Y. And it's the same on Twitter and um, Facebook as well. So I've been faffing about reading comments and stuff. I'm going to get stuck in. I am. I'm going to have a try on and see if anything fits or doesn't fit. Just Maybe I should just pull it all out and then just, I'll put my glasses on. Okay. I'm going to pull it all out and then I might then go through it. Is that a good idea? Should I just do it? Come on. I'm going to pull this all out so that I've got no choice. Ah, look at that. Ooh, some screens. Ooh, shoes. There's going to be things. I am. Um... <laughs> things. Oh, there's bags. What's in there? My... Oh, socks. Ah, individual socks. They can probably go now if they haven't found. Oh, swimsuits, shoes, trainers. A bag I don't need. I'm having another baby. Okay, I'm start. Ow, that just went on my foot. Okay, I pulled it out. I pulled it all out. So I'm gonna have to sort it out now. I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh no. I've got the radio on to give me some motivation, and I'm just trying some things on. And I think I'm gonna give this to the charity shop. I like it, but um, something about it I probably wouldn't. I don't think I'm gonna wear it. So I'm gonna be tough. 
and I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I'm saying goodbye to this dress as well. It's just a little bit too short, realistically. I could wear it on holiday, but I've got some really nice ones. So yeah, this is gonna go in the charity shop pile. I'm really surprised about this one. Um, I got this from the one pound charity shop. It's from Next originally, and obviously it was only a quid. It's a size six, which is ridiculous. I'm a, I'm a size 12, but it weirdly fits. Um, so I'm gonna keep this. Um, so this turned out to be a good buy. I thought I'd take a chance on it and it's got pockets as well. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I think it's just a bit tight here on the booby bit. I think it's pretty, so you can stay. Quite surprising. And this is gonna go as well. It's quite unflattering. It's not a very, it's kind of a top dress, but it's too short for me to wear as a dress. Um, and this bit is kind of a bit unflattering. So although I like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. So I've got a lovely black polka dot one, which kind of fits me a bit better. So I'm saying goodbye to this top dress thing as well. This dress is nice. This is from the one pound um, charity shop and it's from Esprit and it's a really nice holiday one. So I could probably wear that in the day or the evening. It hasn't got any pockets, but it's just quite sweet. It's um, lined, so I'm gonna keep this. This is really sweet, it's got little um, birds on it from Sainsbury's. I like the top, but it's actually too tight on my belly, so I'm going to put this in the um, charity shop pile as well, which is a shame, but it doesn't go out, it kind of just goes in and I can't, I can't wear it, but it is really pretty. I'm really pleased this 50p dress that I got from the car boot sale with pockets fits, so I'm just, it's actually good having a try on, because I haven't tried any of my car boot sale things that I bought, um, and I love this, it's, yeah, I'm really pleased with this little 50p dress, and it's the perfect length. And yeah, I could wear this on holiday and I might feel confident enough to wear it on the school run when it's really hot. Not like when it's cold, I'd look like a wally, but I'm gonna keep this. It's really nice, I think so anyway. This is lovely as well. It was from a car boot sale. I think it was last week. It's a Jules dress um, and it's really nice. First time I've tried it on. Yeah, really pleased with that. So this is great for the summer or um, with tights and stuff and, and boots for winter. Sorry about my messy hair. It's just when I keep trying clothes on, it's going bah. Um, Really pleased with this. It's a little dress. I don't know if it looks nice in, in the, this angle. There's a little Topshop dress I got from the car boot sale. I think it's 50p or a pound. I can't, can't remember. Oh no, it's a quid. That was right. It was a pound. And um, it's just really sweet. It's got like a little flappy bit there, which is quite flattering. And that'd be great for my holidays and like in the summer. So you're really pleased with this um, Topshop dress that I got from the car boot sale. This is another car boot sale dress, it was a pound. It actually looks better in a full length mirror. Um, so I'm gonna keep this. It fits really big actually, I thought it'd be quite small, but um, yeah, it's kind of funny material. It feels like it's lined, but it's all crinkly material. And I like it, I think it's, um, it's pretty, so I'll keep this. I finished trying on the clothes and I've got a big bag I'm gonna donate to charity. So that was good, I feel pleased. And a lot of the things I have got recently from car boot sales fit, so I'm, yeah, I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna carry on now with the stuff I pulled out. Uh, it's gonna, it's just one of those things, isn't it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. It's half past 12 now, it takes ages, doesn't it? I have cleared a whole bag full, although it doesn't look like it. I've moved some from the other wardrobe to this one, but right, okay, so down here, scarves. I love scarves. Okay, so I've got quite a few snoody scarves I'm going to keep. Well, that's a Primark one. I haven't worn that one yet, but I will hopefully wear that when it gets colder again. Yeah, probably in a few days. Oh, slippers. Hat scarves. What's in here? More hats. Another. Oh, God, I've got to get rid of that. I think that was. A, I bought that as a joke. Get rid of that one. <laughs> oh, ski socks. Oh, that's a sweet hat. Yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, oh, that's not a hat. It's a bikini top. Realistically, I probably won't wear that, so I might have to give that away. Oh, that's a pretty little scarf with pom-poms. What's that? Oh, that's a snood scarf. Oh, one shoe. Oh, oh no, there's the other one. Okay, I need those shoes or boots. Uh, and another hat, which is a bit worse for wear, so I'll get rid of that one because, yeah, it looks a bit disgusting. And I've got that one, which is nice and new. I say new, I think that was in the charity shop. Okay, I'm going to sort these out. And put them back in there, in the corner. <laughs> okay, no, I will. Just takes ages, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but it's... right, I'm going to organise it. Get on with it. Come on, hurry up. Okay, so I'm doing this at the minute. Oh, and by the way, this needs to be painted. It's meant to be white. Um, right, back to this. Uh, so I've just had a really good idea. One of these boxes has got scarves in, and then the other has got um flip-flops in 
so when I need scarves, I won't need flip flops. And when I need flip flops, I won't need scarves. So I'm going to put the scarves underneath and then a flip flops on top, and then I can swap them over. That's the plan. Then I've got these shoes here. Shoes. I need some more space for shoes. Maybe I could get something on the back of the door here. A shoe rack thing. It's looking a bit better. There's too many shoes, it's taking up too much room. But I'm gonna have to leave those for now and come up with a better solution. Probably on yeah, on the back of these doors. I'm sure you can buy things, can't you? That wouldn't interfere with anything on the inside anyway, there's a bit of space. And up here is coming along quite nicely. That's photos, so I'm gonna leave those there for now because it's really heavy. And then oh yeah, that <laughs> and that's a little travel case, Kath Kidson. So I'm gonna leave that there so I can just grab it. And then up there, I think it's just a beach bag. And so what I'm gonna do is put all my recording equipment um up there. I just found this little top folded up. It's just like a pyjama top. I think it's from a charity shop or a car boot sale. Just a little cosy jumper. But look at the giraffe in the pocket. I love it. I don't know where it's from. It's just really sweet. I can't throw that away. It's got to stay. It's a nice little cosy pyjama top. This box is fun. Old hair straighteners. Always like an odd sock in every box you get out that you've put away to store things in. Oh, some pens. That's handy. Look, tissues. An odd sock. And lots of wires and old straighteners and burnt straightener mats <laughs> that can go in the bin. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorting this out. Oh no. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I put that up <laughs> with those sticky things. So hopefully it'll hold. It might fall off, but I'm not going to put heavy bags on there. They're just little tote bags um, and one little flamingo bag. Love that bag. Okay, so um, I've got some space. And I'm going to put my pictures in there that I bought for the YouTube wall because I don't know whether to extend it or just keep it in the corner. Um, but I've got all these pictures to put up um, around the house anyway. So I might keep them in here for now until I know what to do with them. So I might just put them in there for the time being. Yeah, so that's some space down there. I've got my flip-flops and shoes in there, scarves underneath. And then I got rid of some more clothes and up the top I've actually got some space. So I'll just have another sort out and see what I can put up there. But I'm, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling pleased and more organised, know where everything is. I like that too, just as long as it doesn't fall down. And I've got about an hour so I'm just going to try and do this quickly because I hate this. It's really annoying me at the minute so I've got to tidy this up. I'm finished. I think this is okay. It's hard to know how to order everything, isn't it? So I've got um, makeup brushes and things there, perfumes here, bits and bobs like hair brushes and scissors. That's just my general, oh that was my shoe by the way, I wasn't like blowing off. Um, that's my general makeup so it doesn't matter that that's messy. I've got blushes and bronzers there, nail varnishes is this. <laughs> and in here just various things, some new makeup um, there and then I've got like some uh, lip liners and eyeliners at the back and some other products at the front my straighteners now this is a bit random um it's got hair clips hair bands and braces on so i'll probably sort that out but it's just quite handy for hair bands but i don't like these big ones they're a bit too um they have they uh a bit they pull on my hair a little bit so i i prefer the smaller ones like this anyway in this corner i've got some cotton wool pads and my eyeshadows and a few bits and bobs in there. So yeah, that's the order. The straighteners obviously um, it's a lot better than it was. So now I know where everything is. And finally, I'm finished. Well, for now anyway, there's still loads to do, but I've made, no, I made a start. This has been part two. I've made another dent in the declutter and I'm really pleased with the dressing table area because that was really annoying me. I tend to lose things but they're not really lost, they're just like hidden and I always think Lee's like cleared stuff away, the hoarder in me gets panicked and Lee always jokes about chucking my things, taking them off to the dump. He never has but he always jokes, I'll go, ha ha ha, oh god and it worries me but he never would and his dad comes over, his dad's even worse, he like jokes about chucking everything away and I don't like it. <laughs> 
they better not. Anyway, so yeah, I've tidied up, I've cleared up. I've got quite a few bags that I'm gonna take to the, not to the dump, I'm gonna take them to the charity shop. Um, that's what I'm gonna do before I collect Toby from school. So I'm gonna go there in a couple of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this video, declutter part two with a little bit of a try on saying goodbye to some clothes and welcoming in the new ones to the wardrobe. And there's a few car boot sales on this weekend, so they might be adding to the um, to the wardrobes as well. So, But I've decluttered so I can go and buy some more stuff. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you think of any like ideas for storage, um, any other videos to watch, if you can recommend somebody that is, you know, really knows what they're doing with storage, because I just don't. I put things away and I don't do it very well, but I've tidied up, that's the main thing. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I've got loads more videos to do. I always say this, but it's true. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a Poundland haul and then hopefully a B&M haul as well, maybe Saturday and Sunday. And then starting Monday, I've got seven days of Poundland, um, which I'm really excited about. So seven days of Poundland. One's gonna be like day one, to be food, makeup, stationery, toys. Uh, I can't remember the others. I don't know, just other things you find. Oh, home decor and um, books and things like that. So I'm gonna be doing that next week. So I'm really looking forward to it. I went to Poundland this morning and um, got some lovely things. So yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye now and have a great Thursday evening or whenever you're watching this and I'll speak to you soon. See you later, bye. The wave again, bye.